So this is where we left off the last time. Everything is set up with the basics. We've, we've used our AB lines, the CD line, the EF line to create this sense of that diamond shape. And we have our buildings on each side, which we did the same thing. We made sure drawing over till it just touches the building indicates the space between the buildings. And we took care of the um, construction lines at the top and erased them. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get you to do this. We wanna create a road so that, that crosses over. So you wanna take your ruler, you're gonna put your ruler on the vanishing point on the bottom, which is the B mark, it's right there. And we're going to get you to draw a line that's going to go off the page. So you're going to take the ruler and your pencil, vanishing point, point here, and you're going to take it and draw that right off the page, as far as it'll go, like that. So that's your first line. Then you're going to repeat it on the other side. Vanishing point, the B mark, again, and you're going to take it and you're going to draw it right off the page. Take it right off. Now, I, my ruler is a little short, so I have to extend my ruler just a little bit so that I can get it to go off the page. And I'm gonna extend my ruler a little bit this way to get it to go off the page. And again, remember, I am drawing upside down at this point, so you might find me having to switch things. So there's the cross. Now, you wanna decide how wide you want your road to be. So you put your ruler on the vanishing point. Is your road gonna be that wide? Is your road gonna be narrower? You know, what do you want to do? So what I'm going to do is I am going to make my road kind of narrow because I want to keep it in scale with my buildings. I want this to feel like this is a really, really tall building. So there's one. I've now crossed that over and made the road go that way. You can see. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do the same thing. I'm setting my ruler up and I'm going to draw my road off the page. So now what I've got, and I'm gonna hold this up so you can see, is I've got a crossroads. Right here in the middle, where the lines all intersect, you wanna erase inside the road. So you wanna erase this line, this line, and this line. Erase them right inside. I'm gonna use the back of my um, pencil because it's got a good small eraser, and I can get in there very carefully and I can erase. So I've, if you look carefully, you can see I've erased those two lines, and I'm gonna erase the lines over here. So the, the road now intersects and you have an intersection. So if I hold that up, you can see you now have an intersection. Okay, so our job now is to draw that building that is down in here, okay? So, and again, I'm gonna try to work as much as I can upside down for you so you'll be able to see it the right way. So now what you wanna do is you wanna take your ruler and we're gonna start with an AB line, okay? So I'm gonna put it down in here and again, depending on how much space you've got, your building might overlap this road. And that's okay if it does. It might overlap this building. That's all right. But right now, we're going to start with an AB line. So I'm going to put an AB line right here. So I'm starting right about there. I'm making sure that my ruler is vertical. Okay. And I'm going to do my AB line. So there is my AB line. And I'm going to label it AB. So I'm going to turn this slightly label it so I know what I've got. So that's my A and my B. And you notice I took it down, I'm coming up from the bottom of the road, to make the AB line. Okay, now our building, if you're looking at what's going on here, we've got to keep in mind that if that's an AB line, right? This side of the building is gonna be going to the vanishing point over here. And we've got a side of the building going to the vanishing point over here. So what we wanna do at this point is by looking at this here, we wanna keep in mind that we have to figure this wall of the building is going back this way. This wall of the building is going that way. So I'm just gonna to say to myself, okay, I'm gonna use a, a light guiding. So I'm putting it on my vanishing point. I'm putting it on A. I don't know how big I want my building to be. So I'm gonna use this as a light guideline, okay? So what I've done is I've drawn a light guideline. I'm gonna hold it so you can see because I have to figure out where I want my building to end over here. That is basically, when you're looking at this here, remember we talked about the idea of the right and the left. So this is the right side, this is the left side, 
So if I'm looking at this, this is a right side, okay? And over here is gonna be a left side. So my right side, so now that I've got that light guideline, I'm gonna put my ruler, I'm gonna put it parallel to AB and I'm gonna slide over, I'm gonna decide where I want it to end. So I'm gonna say, well, I'm gonna end it right there. So now I'm coming from the road and I'm drawing up to that intersection. So now what I've actually drawn is I have drawn the C and the D line, just like over here. So I'm gonna label it. So excuse me while I turn my drawing a little bit. That's a C and that's a D line. So I've got AB, which is like this. I've got CD, which is like this. And those are in place. And my light guideline, I no longer need that because I've ended my building. So I can get rid of that guideline so I don't get confused. Next thing I've got to think about is this side of the building is going back to this vanishing point. So again, use a light guideline, put it on the vanishing point, put it on A, and you want to draw back with a relatively light line. Same thing with B, put it on B, put it on the vanishing point, and you want to draw back. Now I've got guidelines. Now I can make that building go all the way back there if I want to, a really, really long building, or I could make it shorter. All you want to do now is you're going to be drawing this EF line is make sure that your ruler is parallel to AB. Slide over until you think about how big you want your building to be. I think I'm going to stop my building right there. So now I'm going to draw just inside these guidelines. I'm not going to overdraw. I'm going to just stay inside the guidelines. So there it is. Now, if I was doing more buildings going back into space this way, I can keep using these guidelines, but I'm only going to do one building. So I'm going to take out this guideline so I don't get confused. You can leave it if you want to, but I like to erase it because then it helps me see where I'm drawing to. Now, if you look careful, there is the, the left and the right side of the building is drawn. But because it's below the horizon, we also have to draw the top. So now here we go. You want to put your ruler on C, which is this point right there. And you want to, because this is coming back to this vanishing point, put it on C. And you can see where your building ends. Draw your guideline till it kind of ends where that is. So I'm going to hold this up so you can see what's going on. There's my guideline going back. I sort of stopped it right around here. And remember, if you're looking at A, B, C, D, then over here, we've now got drawn in E and F. So I'm going to label those two so you can see it. So there's F. And E is right here. Okay, so those are drawn in. Now, E, if you notice, it's going on right here. We've got to think about that E mark and where it's going to be going. If you notice, A is going to the vanishing point. E over here, the C is going this way. E has to go to the vanishing point over there too. It's basically you're following. You notice, I put my ruler on, on that line, A to C we have to get one that kind of mirrors it. So if I slide up and I get to the top of my E mark, what I wanna do is make sure my vanishing point, my ruler goes to it. Right now, my ruler isn't on the vanishing point. There's my vanishing point, there's the end of my ruler. So what I gotta do, I'm on my E point, which is there. Now I'm gonna put my ruler on the vanishing point and I'm gonna check it by making sure if I can put my pencil on that mark and I can put my pencil on that mark, I'm correct. I don't have to draw all the way through my buildings. I only have to draw to connect these two lines. I wanna connect this line to this line. So I'm just drawing a little short line. There it is. Now, I have got an overdraw right here. I'm gonna take my eraser, get rid of that. And because these were drawn lightly, now you want to strengthen all of those lines so it'll be dark. If you can see up here, I strengthened all of those lines. So I'm going to go in and I'm just going to strengthen my lines. So I'm going to turn the drawing towards me a little bit because it makes it a little easier for me to strengthen my lines because I need to be able to see them. So the main thing about drawing below the horizon line is that you see the top of your structure. And that's what you've got here. You've got the top here. And again, I'm turning to draw in my lines to make sure I can see where they are and get them good and dark. So I would recommend you can come back in and strengthen your lines so you can see them. So now I'm gonna hold this up. 
you can see how that's been strengthened. Okay, and you can see the top is there. The other thing we talked about is how do you put details in here and where do they go? And how are they gonna work for you? So if you use the simplest form of um, the lines, just lines going across the building in, to indicate like floors of the building, that's really actually pretty good. So what I'm doing now is I'm using my center line and I'm gonna put dots because you wanna put dots along the center line, getting an idea of your spacing, all right? So I'm gonna put just a few dots. I'm not gonna do a lot. I just want you to be able to see the basics. So there I've got one, two, three, four, okay? You wanna keep in mind, anything that is above the horizon line when you're doing details, they're gonna tip down to the vanishing point. Anything that's below the horizon line is gonna tip up. So if you think about it this way, you notice the road is tipping up. It's below the horizon line. The tops of the buildings are tipping down they're above the horizon line. So once you make some dots, you know where the floors are gonna be, then you connect your dot to the vanishing point. Remember, right side goes to the right vanishing point, left side goes to the left vanishing point. It's important that you do this and that you keep things going to the vanishing point because that makes the buildings feel like they're coming towards you. If you took and you just draw, excuse me, you just drew straight lines across, then it's gonna flatten the building out, which you don't want. So you notice those ones are tipping down. Now I'm gonna do the ones that are tipping up. So these are tipping up. So make sure I'm right on my dot and right on my vanishing point. So I'm gonna continue these, and then I'm gonna talk a little bit about adding detail on the side ones. So if you're working with me, um, you, this is what you're doing right now. You're adding a little bit of detail. You tried to do the, the bottom part here. Make sure that when you, when you do do a building below here, remember vertical lines, no matter where they are, below the horizon line, above the horizon line, verticals are gonna stay vertical. If your vertical lines tip, it can make it feel like your object is falling over, which you don't want. So there's one side done. Now I'm gonna do the other side. and I'll hold this up. So there's the details that way. You notice they're going to the vanishing point. They're going to the vanishing point. Now in here, once you start to draw in any of these buildings in here, you do the same thing, put your marks along here. What I would recommend is if you're drawing details, especially like on this side here, try not to get it to line up exactly with the ones you've already drawn. Sometimes your eye gets confused and it looks like it's drawing straight across. So what I'm gonna do on purpose is I am going to set stuff up so that I am not directly in line with those. So I am looking carefully and I'm gonna put a mark there. And it looks like I will put a mark right about there. I'll put a mark there. Okay, so I'm just gonna do three on this one. And I'm gonna do this side first. So remember this side of the building going to that vanishing point. So my, I go to here and to here. And again, I don't want to draw through this building. I'm going to take my point and I draw up to the building. That's the main thing. Don't draw over it, draw up to it. Because we want to fool the eye to make someone believe that there's an actual space. So that one goes there and this one goes here. Now I just gotta take these marks and I gotta draw them to that vanishing point. So there we go to here. And carefully draw back, staying inside my, my building. And if you put guidelines like this in, you can always um, add an extra line or two and, um, and put you know, windows in, real windows. But you can see how that starts to look, which is what we want. The same thing would go for um, details in a lower building like this. Same deal. Put your dots along here, draw back, and draw back. So that's the basics of starting to draw something that is below the horizon line and the basics of beginning to draw details inside of a building. You want to make sure 
Your horizon line back here is important. Don't erase it. If you draw a building that comes over it, overlaps it, that's fine. But otherwise, keep it. Okay? I'm going to put a building back here just to show you. So I'm going to start again as if I have a building completely hidden back here, except for the part that comes above. I'm going to draw my AB line. And I'm going to bring my building up to here. So it's coming up. That's A right there. Where's the B line? The B is behind the building, so you can't see it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm using a light guideline, figuring about how big I want that building to be. And I'm gonna use a light guideline this way. Again, thinking about where I want my building to be. Okay. So now I've got to do my vertical lines. I've taken them back and I've decided my building is gonna stop there. My building's gonna stop there. So now I'm going straight up and down. Remember, I'm now putting in the C, which is here, okay? And if you look, that's C for this one. So this is C here. And then we've got E here. So I'm gonna draw those down just till it touches the building. Make sure that I am parallel, okay? You want it to be straight up and down and parallel, vertical and parallel. If you do something like that, or if you do something like this, it's gonna throw off your perspective. So I'm sliding over, checking, visually looking, and I'm drawing in. Now I'm gonna do the same thing here. Now here I only need a little tiny line because I'm so close to that building. And now I'm gonna strengthen these lines so I can see them. And now what I've got is I've got a building that is behind. And I do the same thing. Just like I added these lines in, these in, these details, I would do the same thing here. I add a few detailed lines like that and take them to the vanishing point. And remember, you're drawing just till it, it ends or you touch the other building. In this case, I'm keeping my lines inside my building. So you can see what I'm doing as I'm working. And I'm not gonna do the whole thing. I just want you to sort of see where I'm going. Okay, I'm gonna hold it up. So now you can see what's happening with the details there. So you can have the buildings all overlapping. Just make sure that whatever building you're putting in, whatever the, you have them behind, you're not gonna see the bottom of these buildings because they're behind. If I was to draw the bottom of that building here, it would make everything else look like it's floating, which is what I don't wanna do. I don't wanna have that happen. So there's the basics. So your, your job now is to try with the notes to get some of these shapes in and practice them. Just practice it. If this first building doesn't come out really good, you can erase and try again. So that's where we are right now. And I just hope that that um, is helpful to you. And now with the other video that we have.